What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to make a U-Part wig. This cap was just $4.99, which is $5, basically. On the back, it tells you different ways you can make the wig. You can use a glue gun or either sew it. And you need a mannequin head. It also tells you how to do the U-Part wig. And etc. Now I'm just putting on the cap and I'm going to secure it with T-pins. I'm using this hair from the Weave Zone Glam Collection. I will put the link in the description box. I'm using the 16, 18, and the 20 long inch Brazilian straight hair. So I start out T pinning the hair on there from side to side before I start sewing. It helps me a whole, whole lot. Now I'm using this thread I got from the beauty supply store. I've been using this thread so long. <laughs> The key is to ask for the big thread over the counter at the beauty supply store and they give you this big old thread and you can use it for a long time. It will not run out no time soon. So basically I'm putting the needle through the hair in the cap and pulling it through and it has a knot at the end to secure it. So I'm pulling it all the way through. Okay, first I go underneath and pull it through, and then I wrap it around two times, wrap it around the needle two times to make a knot, and I go underneath it again. Then I'm gonna go around the needle two times again. I'm gonna do the same thing over and over again. Go under, wrap it around the needle two times, and keep doing that. Now when it comes to the end, I like to wrap the hair around and put the T-pin back up there to help me. Now I'm going to go back and sew like I've been doing. Go under, wrap it around two times, and go under again. Now I'm at the end of my thread where I can't go under anymore, so I'm just gonna cut the end, and I'm gonna make about three knots. I'm gonna tie it in three knots. Right now I'm just unraveling it because it got all tangled up when I was twisting the thread around. Now I'm just doing three knots. You see me going under and pulling it, like you're tying a shoe, basically. 
do like three knots. Three to four knots and then you're gonna cut the thread, but do not cut the knot itself or the thread will come loose.
So y'all, I'm Mama Sun. I'm at the top, and I love how this hair is moving from side to side flawlessly. I just got to put a few more tracks at the top, and I'll be done. Do not put anything on the lace part, just the black part. And now I'm using a 16 UI where I use the shortest bundle at the top and the longest bundle at the bottom. Yeah, this is really some good hair. Now that I'm finished, I'm about to do the elastic bend in the back. This is how it looks with the wig is off. I did not cut the lace yet. I will let my sister do it because I'm making it for her. So I'm using this to make the elastic bend in the back. And I'm going to put it from side to side. It's called Do It Yourself Elastic Band Wig Grip. So you basically get the elastic band and measure the person's head. And this is the measurement of my sister's head from side to side. And I'm going to cut it and sew it to the cap. So I'm sewing like I did the wig, but I'm not doing knots in between. I'm not going around. But I'm sewing on this side, then I'm doing the other I am officially done and I really love it and I got the elastic band in the back I hope you like this video please like comment and subscribe